Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Cat Six here. So I want to share with you all my number one mistake that I did while transforming my body within one year with calisthenics where I gained around 10 kilos of muscle. And if you haven't seen my one year transformation video with calisthenics, I will put a link for the video up above. I highly recommend that you go and check it out. So yeah, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I see so many other people that are using calisthenics to transform their body as well and send them in the direction of gaining and maintaining their dream body. So yeah, I hope this video is helpful to you so you can maybe not make the same mistake that I did or become aware of a mistake that you are doing with calisthenics currently if you're doing calisthenics in your current exercise workout regime. So yeah, you can actually gain as much muscle mass as you possibly can in the shortest period of time. So the number one reason is very, very simple. When I got into calisthenics, I just started doing like push-ups and sit-ups and I hadn't done much research into calisthenics at all and I didn't have much education on building muscle whatsoever because yeah, before in the past I used to be a long distance runner and also a cyclist as well. So yeah, a lot of cardio based exercise was from my past history of training and it's totally different compared to calisthenics and building muscle. So when I was doing the training, I was just doing random types of exercises here and there and I wasn't going to failure and doing specific hypotrophy training. And if you don't know about this specific training, it is the type of training that is going to tear the muscle fibers as much as possible and the more you tear them, the more they're going to grow when they are recovering and repairing in the resting period after training. So yeah, for me, I just wasn't pushing myself as hard as I could. And then I started to study calisthenics and also bodybuilding as well because looking into that for maximizing muscle growth you can apply to calisthenics exercises. So yeah, I really started to notice the results with gaining as much muscle mass as quickly as possible once I started to be very specific with my training and doing a certain amount of sets, which I'd normally do around three sets of six different exercises. I normally do around a six to 12 rep range for each exercise. And the reason why I started doing that was from the research that I've done online, a lot of people with bodybuilding and calisthenics was recommending this to maximize muscle growth as much as possible. And this is specific hypotrophy training that I am stating to you in this video that I was doing, that I still do until this current moment at point, and I will continue to do this type of training like I have done for quite some time. So yeah, when you're actually doing the reps, don't just try and do six to 12 reps, for example, as quickly as possible, because I see so many people in the gym just trying to get as many reps out as possible. And yeah, their form's necessary, not so great, and you wanna be making sure that you've got as best form as possible, because if your form's not so great, you're not going to fatigue the muscles as much, and it's gonna make the exercise a lot easier. And if you look into things such as CrossFit, when they do pull-ups, they kip, and a lot of them will say, well, I can do so many pull-ups. But if you try and then get them to do strict form pull-ups without keeping, they can hardly do any. So make sure that you are doing very good form whilst doing this specific type of training to maximize muscle mass gaining with calisthenics. Growth with calisthenics. So yeah, when you're doing them, do them with a really good form each calisthenics exercise that you're doing and do it with a moderate speed. And say for example, you are gonna do three rounds of push-ups in your workout of all the other different exercises, your upper body calisthenics routine. And say that you're getting near to 12 and you feel that it was relatively easy for you, then you need to make it harder for yourself. So what I'd recommend in that situation is modifying how you're doing it. So for example, you could just do it a lot slower with each rep. That's what I would do with a lot of calisthenics exercises to make it harder. Or you could add some weight to your back or even change the type of push-up that you're doing. You could do diamond push-ups or wide push-ups or archer push-ups. So make sure that you're always pushing yourself to your limit. And if you're someone that really wants to work out whether you are pushing yourself enough to maximize muscle growth 
and fatigue the muscles as much as possible is for example when I'm training and say that I'm doing diamond push-ups with some weight on my back the first few reps may be moderately hard well normally is moderately hard but then after that point it really starts to get very very challenging and actually finishing the last few reps out of the 12 reps is so so difficult I almost cannot finish so I'm pretty much doing to failure and that is what you want to be doing with every single different exercise that you're doing so this is something to be very mindful of because so many people when they're training themselves in the gym they're just not pushing themselves to their limit and then they wonder why they aren't getting the results like I managed to within a year of gaining around 10 kilos of muscle and I work with clients specifically in a gym and I work alongside them and I have found with one client specifically should I say that I was training her on a regular basis and then I stopped training her and she said her muscles weren't aching that much so then I started going in the gym with her again and watching what she was doing and she just wasn't pushing herself to her limit and making the exercises as challenging as she possibly could for herself not until the point where she couldn't actually finish them but where she could almost not finish each exercise that she was doing or the reps in each exercise that she was doing so yeah this is such a common mistake that i see time and time again i see so many people in the gym doing it as well that i observe that i'm not helping as well and yeah it is just a lot of people find that pushing themselves as much as possible is not always easy so this is why it's good for a lot of people to have a coach that really knows what they're doing and can push them past their mental barriers because all of it with training it's a mind game and you need to make your mind as strong as possible and just push through all of those hurdles and barriers that come up in your mind and where it's making you want to quit and stop because it's so painful because yeah if you learn from any professional bodybuilder out there rather than a calisthenics athlete which you can learn from calisthenics athletes as well but people that compete in like mr olympia they are pushing themselves so so hard and when you're pushing yourself to a failure like they do and i do your muscles should ache for days and days and days afterwards and for me after really hard training sessions it normally takes three to five days at least for the pain in my muscles to go away where they are just completely destroyed from training and recovering and growing and one last thing i say is when i'm working with clients and i get them to start doing a different exercises that i haven't done before i'm always trying to work out how hard i need to make it for them or not so i get them to do it and then i'll ask them as they're doing it is this too easy or is it feeling that it's too hard if it's too easy then i'll modify it and make it harder for them but if it's too hard and they feel they can't really do any reps at all then i always make it slightly easier so they can get through the reps that i feel that they need to get through and that they want to get through to maximize their muscle growth with calisthenics and my last thing is i say for me to transform my body within one year, there was so many different hurdles, but I wanted to achieve the body and the fitness levels and the energy levels with this specific type of training and calisthenics that I was doing and all of the other lifestyle and dietary changes as well. I wanted it as bad as I wanted to breathe. So yeah, there was nothing that was ever gonna get in the way of me achieving what I wanted to achieve and I just kept focusing upon it and there was moments that I had down times and I would fail and I, but I would get back up and try again and again and again and I would just make sure that I was disciplined and consistent and that I was always learning from my mistakes and pushing forward and just knowing that I could achieve it and I just kept moving forward with no excuses whatsoever remember if I can do it you could do it too you just need to believe you can do it and put in the hard work over time it's really as simple as that. But yeah, there's a lot of people that are weak in their mind and just give up and they never really achieve anything in life. And I'm not a person that wants to be like that. And I'm sure that you don't too. Otherwise, I'm sure you wouldn't be watching this video because most people watching my videos want to improve themselves and better themselves in so many different ways so they can become the best version of themselves and achieve their dreams, goals, and desires as well. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. And please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about what I shared with you today in relation to my number one mistake with maximizing muscle growth with calisthenics while transforming my body within one year. 
period. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. The type of videos you can expect from me are informational videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting, calisthenics, calisthenics workout, and progression videos, what I eat in a day videos, what I do in a day videos, plant-based vegan, videos as well because yeah, eat a plant-based vegan diet if you wasn't already aware of that and many other different videos to teach you so much valuable information to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels and also I hope at the same time from my videos that will inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to achieve those things if that's what you desire to gain and maintain long. Term. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.